Hi, everybody. My name is Mike Foote. I'm a state senator from Lafayette, and I'm asking you to vote yes on the national popular vote when you see it on your ballot coming up this fall. I was one of the legislators that was honored to be able to pass the national popular vote agreement into Colorado law during the 2019 legislative session. Colorado is now one of 15 states plus Washington, D.C. that has signed on to the national popular vote agreement. If enough states come on board, that will mean that the presidential campaigns and how presidents try to win campaigns will fundamentally change across the country and for the better. It's in Colorado law now. The governor signed it. And now you all, everybody in this state, every voter in this state, I should say, will get a chance to weigh in and will be asked to approve what we did during the 2019 legislative session. So if you agree with the national popular vote, we're asking that you vote yes on the national popular vote ballot measure. You'll see in the fall. You know, Colorado has made a lot of progress over the last several years on making sure that every voter is heard, every voice is heard statewide. We now have an all mail-in ballot. We now do presidential primary voting. We even allow 17 year olds to vote if they're going to turn 18 by the date of the general election. The national popular vote is the next step to make sure that every voice matters in Colorado and indeed if adopted throughout the country, throughout the entire country. The national popular vote really comes down to two straightforward concepts. The first is that the most votes should actually win, and that includes the presidency. This should sound familiar to everybody because that's how we run every other election where the most votes actually wins. And the second concept is that every voice should matter. Every voter should be relevant. One person should always equal one vote. So if you also believe that the most votes should win, if you believe that one person should always equal one vote, you should be a yes on the national popular vote. It will, in fact, change the way that presidential candidates campaign across the country, and it will do it for the better. Right now, presidential campaigns just focus on a handful of swing states, even as few as a half a dozen swing states, which, by the way, Colorado is not one anymore. So voters in, say, 43 or 45 other states really don't matter to those presidential candidates and campaigns during the general election. They just focus on a small number of voters and a small number of states in order to win. The national popular vote will get rid of all of that. It will make sure that the candidates have to campaign throughout the country. They'll have to focus on urban areas and rural areas. They'll have to focus on red states and blue states and what would formerly be known as swing states. They have to focus on everybody because they know that they'll have to get the most number of votes in order to win the election. That's going to change the way that presidential candidates campaign across the country for the better. And just as importantly, it'll change the way that they govern for the better. So if you also think that the most votes should win, if you think that one person should always equal one vote, you should be a yes on the national popular vote as well. If you have any questions about it, or if you want to learn more about the national popular vote before seeing it on your ballot this fall, please go to our website, which is yesonnationalpopularvote.com. That's yesonnationalpopularvote.com. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you for using your voice. Thank you very much.